All right, in this video, I wanna show you how to write a call to action in your email. So if you want readers to take action, make sure you use calls to action. So I've got opened up a pre-written email that I wrote just recently. So what is a call to action? A call to action really is to tell them exactly what you want them to do. It could be to buy now, to click here, to go here, to check this out, to watch this video. That's a call to action. And if, you, if you're sending a direct sales message, then you definitely want to add a call to action. You can't just expect them to know what to do. So if you, let's say you're offering a bonus for a product you're an affiliate of, give them the exact instructions on what to do. For example, step one, purchase through this link. Step two, email me directly here. Step three, make sure to copy and paste your receipt. And that's it. That's pretty direct and the calls to action that you want to use. But let's say you're promoting a product and you want to use a call to action. Could be as simple as check out exactly how it works here, as you can see from this example. Or you can say get instant access to this brand new tool right here. I've also got a short one, two words, go here. That's the call to action. See, if I leave this out, let's just say I take this out, I've got these bulleted benefits and then the link doesn't really show much. There's no call to action here. It doesn't make the reader want to click it. So make sure you're adding a call to action wherever you may be. The more direct you are, the better. And don't write in a way where it's indecisive as in, let me show you an example. If you've got time, take a look here. As you can see, this is a little bit indecisive and you're not being direct if you've got time. So you're giving them a choice, which is not good. So they're probably gonna think, oh, probably not now, I don't have time. So, you know, they might delete your email, archive it, whatever it may be. So again, make sure you're direct with your calls to action and you're gonna get a lot more clicks. So that's how to write calls to action in your email.